on the board against with Niramas. I'm Joseph and I'm here today with Draco. It's time to take a look at another Keyforge deck and it's deck review number 12. And we're going into this one and the last one was really nice. That was really good. Uh, impressed by that one. I haven't played it yet. But if you haven't checked it out, go click the link up here. You can come to the playlist for all these deck reviews where you can check out a bunch of Keyforge decks. And you also hear what I think about them and so on. If I think they're good and if I think they... Or something that I will bring to like the online tournament or something like that. So now we have Halvorsen, Blockshire's Scholar. Okay, so Brobner Dismorse. Mm. That's, yeah, that might not be my favorite house combination, but we'll see how it goes. Let's pan down here and let's start with a Biometrics backup. For Yamber, this creature gains destroyed. Put this creature into its owner's archive. And this is kind of nice actually because this has been errata and we can see here uh, this is from the sort of new uh, um, set, the new, I don't know, I don't think we can see any difference on the box really, to be honest, but you know, it used to say, uh, you may put this creature in some sort of it shouldn't be may, so it has been eroded in the rule book, and here's, the I think it's the first time I see one that is actually correct, so, Silix Marauder, two power, Silix Marauder gets plus one power for each amber on it, and when you play him, you capture one amber for each friendly red, a Morse creature, I think this guy is so hard to get to use. It's so rare that I get to use him for its effect. Then we have the Vesima Think Drone, three power reap. You may archive a friendly creature or artifact from play. That's a good one. Ulig Mega Mouth, three power fight reap. Use a friendly non Mars creature. I like him as well. Tank, six power one armor. After you play another Mars creature, fully heal tank. That, that, that's a good effect. Another tank. And my, one of my favorites, John Smith. Two power, elusive, fight reap, ready a non-agent morse creature. He's just so good. Because he can ready one of these other guys. And like if he readies Mega Mouth, for example, if we have both of these out, I can re put him. I can use a, um, someone from another house, then I can use John Smith to ready him again. And a grabber jammer, four power, one armor. Your opponent keys cost plus one. Fight reap, capture one. This is a this is a solid one, I think. And two of those, that's really nice for the Especially for the Amber, you know, making it cost more for your opponent. The Eater Spider uh, used to be one of my favorites. I had some issues with this one lately. Had a hard time using it well. 7 power, Eater Spider deals no damage when fighting. Each Amber that would be added to your opponent's pool is captured by Eater Spider instead. The issue I had basically is that it can build up a lot of Amber here. And then your opponent has something like Fear or something to just, you know, take it off the board. And then all that amber comes back, of course, to your opponent. So Squawker is nice. Ready a Morse creature or stun a non-Morse creature. This is good. It has this either or thing. Really like that. We can ready John's mate or we can stun someone. Also a free amber as well. Ammonia Clouds. Play deal three damage to each creature. This is tricky. How strong are our... Let's see. So Mega Mouth will die in that. Um, Sima Think Drone. Marauder dies. Tank survives though. John Smith dies, of course. Well, it could be good at some, yeah, some sometimes it could be good. And that was Mars. Okay, so decent Mars, I think. Then we have the Dis Succubus, three power. During their draw card step, your opponent refills their hand to one less card. That, that's always good. Stealer of Souls, after an enemy creature is destroyed, fighting Stealer of Souls, perch that creature and gain an amber at six power. This is a good creature. If you get to fight a bit with him, especially against smaller ones. I just love, you know, perching. That's, that's so fun. Schuler, five power play if your opponent has four amber or more. Steal one, always good. Guardian Demon, four power. Play fight reap. Heal up to two damage from a creature. Deal that amount of damage to another creature. This could actually work a bit with Ammonia Clouds. So we can heal one of ours and just hand that damage over to our opponents. Amber Imp is nice. Two power. Your opponent cannot play more than two cards each turn. This is a good one. Oh, the Screaming Cave. I love this artifact. This is one of my favorite artifacts. I'm just going to check. One, two, three, four. Okay, five creatures. Yeah, this is so good because it's you put it out there and then you have the action. Shuffle your hand and discard pile into your deck. And that's just so nice. You can circle your cards around. And I like having that out. You know, having this, having this one out and you know, just bringing out more. It's so much, many options you get from this one. I just love it. And together with Lash of Broken Dreams, that is perfect. That, that's something I really enjoy, these two together. Because this is an action key cost plus three during your opponent's next turn. So I can choose this, I can activate this. Uh, 
they can't do the key as they planned, I'll do Screaming Cave and get a fresh hand as well. And having Dominator bubble out is nice there as well, because then you can use action, use a friendly creature from any house. Yeah, okay, it's yeah, it's looking good. And Mind Barb is good. Free Amber, play your opponent, discards a random card from their hand. That, that's nice. Hand of Dis is nice as well. Play destroy creature is not on a flank. A bit situational, but I do like it. Two of them though might be overkill. And then we have the Arise, which is nice as well. Choose a house, return each creature of that house from your discard pile to your hand, gain one chain. I think, yeah, it's decent here. You can get these guys back, basically. Uh, you can take another house, but you want to take this most of the time, because then you can play them right away, of course. So not a bad thing at all, Arise. So I think this was decent as well. Both of these are okay. It's not amazing, but it's okay. Then we have the Phoenix Heart. This creature gains destroyed. Return this creature to its owner's hand and deal 3 damage to each creature in play. This is very situational. So you put this on someone and when they are destroyed then you get that creature. I get the creature back or the opponent in that case. Well it should be me I guess and then deal 3 damage to each creature in play. Could be good. And we have the War Drummer. I like him. 3 power play. Return each other friendly Brobner creature to your hand. He's really good if we have Bunch of Bromna creature with play effects. Fire Spitter is not one of them though, but he has 5 power, 1 armor, and before the fight, deal 1 damage to each enemy creature. Bumsy here have good play, play effect, your opponent loses 1 amber, 5 power. So he goes well with War Drummer. And wow. Are, are you kidding me? We have 3 Bromna creatures. This is an issue. <laughs> this is an issue because. Like, Morse had some guys, but they weren't that strong, really. And here we had some, well, some strong, but not that many. I was counting on Brobnar to hold up the fighting aspect to keep the battle line in check, but... Okay, we'll see what comes here. The War Chest uh, has an action gain one amber for each enemy creature that was destroyed in a fight this turn. Which means it's only when I'm playing Brobnar and... Yeah, okay. And um, then we have Gauntlet of Command, once again, ready and fight with a friendly creature. Could be good because we can fight with someone else if we choose Brobnar, so a little more incentive here to choose Brobnar. Tremor is an awesome card. Play stun a creature and each of its neighbors. Love that one. Loot the bodies. Play for the remainder of the turn. Gain one amber each time an enemy creature is destroyed. Mm. Yeah. I don't know. Couch and, okay, here's the destroying. So we could do this one and board wipe. Yeah, so that, that's that's okay. Okay, so one couch and play destroy each undamaged creature, gain three chains, and two couch and, and three couch and, and... This is a joke. This is a joke, right? This problem deck was... Wow, this is terrible. What is this? I mean... <laughs> so like, War Drummer, Fire Spitter, and Bumpsy, then all of these fighting thingies, and then four couch end. And it gives you three chains, so it means not the card that you want to play that much. Okay, terrible, terrible problem. I think this ruined the whole thing. I think this one was okay at best. There was many cards here that I that I would like to have instead. I mean, instead of this one, I'd much rather have a battle fleet. Okay. Um, you know, maybe I'm not seeing it. I mean, I, earlier on when I said the deck was not that good, then you guys told me in the comments that, yeah, well, there's this and that that was actually good in it, and maybe I'm not seeing it already. I mean, Screaming Cave is good, together with Lash of Broken Dreams. That's good. I have this combo in one of my favorite decks uh, in my collection. That's a good one. Uh, Ember Imp, Guardian Demon, Shuler, Stealer, Soul, Succubus. I think this is, is perfectly fine. Maybe I don't want to have two hand of this, but... Yeah, this then the bubble. So yeah, these artifacts are are nice. No problem there. The problem is we have one, two. Um, yeah, three. I think yeah, we have three free amber. That's like one. Of, I think that's the lowest count I ever seen. I, th I think that's the lowest count I've ever seen in a deck. And... I mean, we have a bunch of artifacts. 
What do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and three here. So sixteen creatures. That's on the lower end for sure. That could be okay if you have a deck that instead of creatures have cards, action cards and such that generate a lot of amber, a lot of free amber or amber on the cards. And that way you can make a lot of amber. You don't need to be on the battlefield that much. Some decks are really good by, by that standard, but this one, <sighs> half the deck is creatures, half the deck is Crowd Chan. Not, no, not really, but almost. <laughs> this. Okay. This is not a keeper, um, for sure. Might try it out, of course, online, the Crucible, just for fun. But I'm, I'm not gonna keep this one. This will probably one of those be one of those decks that I, you know, give away to someone uh, randomly in, in some, in some way. But yeah. Uh, also, the deck list will be down in the description. So check that out if you wanna check out the cards more. And thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like the video if you do like it. I'm trying to get the numbers up here so more people watch these deck reviews because I do enjoy making them. So I hope more people find them. So please tell your friends about them if they like Keyforge. You know, tell them to go check out Board Games with Niramas on, faith on Facebook, on YouTube, and on Facebook as well, of course. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great evening or morning or whatever you're watching. Take care. Bye bye. Be like Draco. Follow Board Games with Niramas on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can find us at BGW Niramas. Board Games with Niramas is sponsored by Alara Games in Sweden.